Hey, it's election day. But unless you've been living in a cave, you already knew that. This does mark the end of a long and expensive midterm election campaign. And as we get to the end, I can't resist the urge to return to Kansas, partly because it's going to be a really interesting and important state tonight, and partly because it's my home state, and I love the idea that it actually matters for once in a national election. It matters because Kansas is home to not just one, but two important toss-up races tonight. In the Senate, Senator Pat Roberts, 18-year veteran, is being threatened by an independent candidate, Greg Orman. And in the governor's race, Sam Brownback is being threatened by a Democrat, Paul Davis. Who would have thought that in reliably Republican Kansas? And what does that tell you about this year? Well, I think a couple of things, different messages in the Senate and the House races. In the Senate race, the fact that Senator Roberts is in trouble tells you just how deeply dissatisfied people across the country are with the political status quo, and the fact that an independent has a shot at beating him tells you how uh, eager they are to move to some alternatives to that status quo, maybe even some radical alternatives to the status quo. In the governor's race, I think the message is slightly differently. It tells you just how much people still feel economic anxiety and uncertainty. Uh, the problem for Governor Brownback is that he has introduced a, a conservative economic philosophy that voters feel has put the state's economic standing uh, on treacherous ground without providing a lot of obvious rewards on Main Street. So inducing economic anxiety, not a good thing in 2014. It'll be ironic, of course, if Republicans on what is an overall good night for them find that their biggest problems lie in the state of Kansas, the reliably red state of Kansas. Ironic, but somehow fitting for 2014.